Welcome to the forest ecology component which is called forest dynamics. Here we're going to look at a forest stand in a situation of its current status, its origin, and where it'll be in 60 years. All of this can be rather confusing when you look at all these arrows in all directions here. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at these in stages. So the next thing I want to do, look at the forest as currently now. And you can see here, we, uh, I have blocked out a majority of this diagram, and we will look at it in steps right now. So the first thing what I want to do, again, for the forest stand now, you're going into the field, and you're going to be collecting information about the current stand. And the, and the accuracy of this data is imperative if you want to have an accurate idea of what the forest looked like in the past and where it is going in the future. The information you will collect will include the forest overstory. It will include a wide variety of, of things from the overstory, the intermediate stage, the regeneration stage, the soils, the moisture, and you will need to make a variety of assessments uh, in regards to the information you've collected. What you're going to be doing is, once you have the forest information, we will start from the top and work our way down this diagram. The first thing you're going to do is have the, is you will categorize this forest. And this forest can be categorized into three areas. And uh, you can see here that I have, once I get this under control, let me try that again, um, is that we have three types of ways we're going to describe the forest. Ecological land classification, forest uh, ecological forest ecological uh, classification and managed forest tax incentive plan. So you can see there, there these three are uh, ways describing the very same forest in different ways in Ontario. The next thing that you will be learning is uh, that we want you to do is the plant collection that you did at camp. We want you to be able to tell us what did you find as the three key vegetative types, herbs, shrubs, are most key. And what are the key ones? So in other words, dandelion doesn't count. So for the current, for the current stand, okay? And then the next thing we want you to be able to do is to look at what animals and birds did you uh, see, not see there, but expect to see there, and your bird book will provide resources on what kind of birds you would expect in different types of ecosystems. And for the animals, we hope you use your wildlife observation skills and resources as Big Blue, one of your books. So when you, as you're going along, the other thing we want you to, to note is, was there evidence of disturbance? And disturbances are uh, are highlighted in the ELC manual on page 144, 145, and they include everything from grazing to recreation trails to windstorms. And we'd like you to read up on that so you become familiar because the forest is always influenced by a disturbance. That's a given. And then for the regeneration, we'd like you to ponder on what regeneration do you see in there? Is there any new regeneration? And is it coming from, is that regeneration coming from the current stand or from other resource, from other stands nearby? And this is where you will, we'd like you to watch that video on the um, disturbances. Okay, and the last thing we want you to look at, which is also a video uh, we have uh, 
developed for you is micro niches. So in other words, we want you to be able to explain any types of sites that are, for example, if it's a wet site, why is there white birch growing there? So that's the kind of thing we want you to be able to do. So that's the first introduction of the forest stand now. So far, um, I have explained to you forest stand now and all the factors that influence the forest stand currently. Now, as you can see, we have exposed also the forest stand origin. And what we want you to do is be able to look at the forest, go back to its origin, and then add about 15 years so the trees can develop and see what did that forest look like, what did this forest look like at that point in time. So that could be 200 years from the, from the original, from the forest now, or it could have been only 20 years. So the things we want you to, to predict that occurred when the forest originated are a number of things. And, we, and some of them are very easy. We want you to be able, A, to understand just some uh, geophysical data, slope, aspect, and elevation. They are very self-explanatory. We want you to also be able to tell us what was the moisture regime back then when this forest started. What is the soil type which shouldn't have really changed at all over the course? And what do you expect were the vegetative types when the forest was in its origin, when it was very different? We want you to reflect on the fact uh, what was the disturbance that originated this forest. And there's a wide variety. As this forest regenerated, how was it influenced by other stands? Again, how was this forest influenced by stands nearby and by the trees within the stand based on their tree silvics, which is something you have to learn. So, you know, for each species, you need to know their Latin name and the actual uh, specifics about that tree because that greatly works because poplar, for example, is very intolerant and it will never grow under hard maple if it is a crown closure has occurred. Again, with the, with the forest in the past, as we call it, we want you to reflect on what birds and animals were there. And we want you to, uh, because the stand initiated there, we want you to look at the initiation stage and tell us uh, some of the factors of why it, it, it occurred very quickly or very slowly based on all based on all these other factors that you see here right all these here uh, have influenced how fast the initi initiation stage occurred there is a video we're going to ask you to watch to be aware of uh, to understand the definition and the factors involved in the initiation stage so that is the past stand. We want you to be able to predict based on an accurate analysis of the stand now. Something that's very typical in forestry. Here you can see that I've now exposed the forest stand timeline. And what I've done is made it so that you can see now the timeline and the timeline is based on the stands will have initiated here and then it goes through a series of stages until it finally reaches old growth. For each of these stages we have a video uh, available for you to watch to explain what they are. And what we want you to do is take the stand how it originated and then we want you to map on this diagram where is the stand currently? Is it, has it gone to the point of stem exclusion? So is the stand here? And in regards to stem exclusion, so it would be here, and that, is, and that is the actual 
current stand. Is that the is that the case in, uh, in regards to this uh, particular stand now? Is that if you go in back to the origin, and then from the initiation stage, this stand has only got as far as system exclusion stage, and has not begun the reinitiation stage. So we want you to map the the actual four stand timeline based on the videos and how that's defined for the stand now. Uh, with respect to its origin, origin, excuse me. Okay. In this final uh, slide, what I want to, we have now exposed is the forest as you predict it to be in 60 years time. And what we want to, what we want to know in 60 years time or 70, what will be the three key vegetation types? We will also be able to want to know what was the moisture regime at that point in time? Has the forest been influenced by new regeneration, which is now in coming into this older stand? And all these factors tie in. Is there any more disturbance that should be considered discussing when looking at stands that are that old. So these type of things have to be discussed and what stage, what stage is this particular stand at 60 years? Is it at still the stem exclusion? Is it the stem, excuse me, at the reinitiation, reinitiation stage? Or on the forest stand timeline, has it actually achieved old growth? These are all defined in those videos we ask you to watch. Along the way, we of course want you to again look at what animals and birds habitat will there be generated in 60 to 70 years in the future. So we want you to look at that future forest and give an accurate prediction based on forest ecology, understanding tree silvics, and understanding certainly the forest stand now. And this is this uh, is the premise of your entire forest dynamics component uh, in this semester. Understand the forest now, in the past, and in the future.